Okay, I'm going to show you how you can import an image into FSpy, calibrate a camera, and then import that camera into Blender. So first you need to go to FSpy, you can download it here at fspy.io, and then once you've installed it, you just need to drag an image into this viewport. So I'm going to select this image of a railway bridge. This process works best with images that have got parallel lines and sets of parallel lines that run perpendicular to each other. So these two lines under the bridge and these lines on the train tracks are going to work really well, but you may have more difficulty using other types of images. So I'm just going to drag this image in and here you can see that we get a few red and green lines that show up. The red lines I'm going to um, align to one axis and the green lines I'm going to align to the other axis and you can start this process by just clicking and dragging on one of the lines. You can see that as you drag it, this widget updates, and the whole scene updates. So I'm just going to like position this red line along the edge of the platform here. If you hold down shift as you're dragging one of these points, you can go into crosshair mode and place it with a bit more precision. So I'm going to line up my red lines. I'm going to put this other one on the train track. And then these green lines, I'm going to put up along the bridge. And this green axis is perpendicular to the red. You'll see later that this is the y axis, red is the x axis. So I'm just lining these green lines up with the bridge. And at this point, FSpy has actually worked out the focal length and the position of the camera. So if I click focal length here, you can see it's got a value. Um, but what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use a slightly different method to calibrate this camera. Where it says principal point here, I'm going to select from third vanishing point. And if I do that, I get these two extra lines, which is the z-axis. Um, and in this case, I'm going to use it as the vertical axis. So I'm going to line, I'm going to line these blue lines up with the wall. I'm going to put one over there. And I'm going to put the other one here on the other side. It's good to have lines that are very far apart in the image, if you can. Because if you put them close together, there's less chance that you'll get an accurate vanishing point. So here, these two red lines you can see converge at a point in the distance which looks like a reasonable position for the horizon. So now that we've aligned the image, I'm going to put on a little grid floor here. And I've chosen XY grid floor. And this tells us where the origin and roughly where the grid of the 3D scene will be. So I'm just going to drag this grid down onto the level of the platform here so that when we map our image in 3D, the ground is roughly where the ground should be. So that all looks pretty good. I can see that my focal length has been calculated at 26.82 millimeters. So I'm just going to save my file as bridge.fspy. Um, then I'm going to go over to Blender. And for this stage, you need to install the fspy add-on. Um, you can see I've got it installed here. If you don't have it, you can go over to fspy.io, scroll down, and you can see that there's a fspy importer add-on link here. And that link, I think, will take you to the GitHub page. Yeah, where you can download it. So once you've got that installed, you'll be able to do the next step. So I'm going to go back to Blender and I'm going to go File, Import, and then choose FSpy down here. And then I'm going to go to my place where I saved my FSpy. And I'm going to press Import. And you can see that the camera has popped up in the 3D scene in the position that we calibrated it at. Even better, you can see that it's put the origin in the place in the image where we specified it. And the cube here, you can see, looks like it matches quite well. Uh, for example, I can add an image, sorry, I can add a plane into the scene. And you can see that that lines up with the ground, which is pretty nice. And then if I wanted, I could start to model my scene um, based on this image. So I could start to sort of extrude this, extrude this plane. And you can see it lines up really well with those perspective lines that we drew earlier. And it should even, if I were to extrude this upwards, it should also match the perspective in the other axis here. So you can see that the this other axis also lines up. So it seems to be working quite nicely. So that's how you uh, calibrate an image, calibrate a camera, and import it into Blender.